Hi, my name is Lydia Millett, and I'll be reading from a novel called A Children's Bible. It looks like this. The Great House had been built by robber barons in the 19th century, a palatial retreat for the green months. Our parents, those so-called figures of authority, roamed its rooms in vague circuits beneath the broad beams, their objectives murky and of no general interest. They liked to drink. It was their hobby, or said one of us, maybe a form of worship. They drank wine and beer and whiskey and gin, also tequila, rum and vodka. At midday, they called it the hair of the dog. It seemed to keep them contented or, or going at least. In the evenings, they assembled to eat food and drink more. Dinner was the only meal we had to attend, and even that we resented. They sat us down and talked about nothing. They aimed their conversation like a dull gray beam. It hit us and lulled us into a stupor. What they said was so boring, it filled us with frustration. And after more minutes, rage. Later, the talk grew louder, freed of our influence. Some of them emitted sudden, harsh barks, apparently laughing. As the evenings wore on, some parents got it into their heads to dance. A flash of life would move their lumpen bodies. Sad spectacle. They flopped, blasting their old-time music. Beat on the brat, beat on the brat, beat on the brat with a baseball bat, oh yeah. The ones with no flashes of life sat in their chairs watching the dancers. Slack-faced, listless, for practical purposes, deceased, but less embarrassing. Some parents paired off and crept into the second floor bedrooms where a few boys spied on them from between the slats of closet doors, saw them perform their dark acts. At times they felt stirrings, I knew this, although they didn't admit it. More often, repugnance. Most of us were headed to junior or senior year after the summer was over, but a few hadn't even hit puberty. There was a range of ages. In short, some were innocents. Others performed dark acts of their own. Those were not as repugnant. Thank you.